Well, hey there, it's Cecilia again, and I am your home business owner by desire and your engineer by education. And today I'm going to share with you a few of the ideas that I use for Facebook posts. So the reason why I'm doing this topic today is because um, dealing with some of my newer clients, you know, they're always like, well, I don't know what to post or what I should say. Or um, so I've when did some research and I found something from Kim Garst and she is a social media maven and she had something out there called 27 ideas for social media posts that you can use now. And I thought I would share that with you. And if you want all 27 ideas, because I can't list all of them in this short video, go ahead and click the link in the comments that I'll post here at the end of the video. So it'll be at the top. So that way you can download the entire list of 27 Facebook post ideas and actually as i was going through the list these are good for more than just facebook they are good for any social media platform you just have to figure out which ones work best well and i'll discuss that when i talk about some of the ones that i thought were my top so let me make sure that you can hear me it's nothing worse than doing a video nobody can hear you right um if you have never watched me before let's see it says that i'm live let's make sure you can hear me yep i can be heard all right, let me get me shared to my page and then we'll go ahead and get this started. So if you never watched me before, once again, yes, my name is Cecilia Morris and I am an engineer by education and a home business owner by desire. I've been in the network marketing arena for over 10 years and a short two years ago is when I decided that I needed to find a new way to build my business because traditional marketing methods were not working for me. So I learned how to do my brand and my business online. And what I try to share with you are the tools, strategies, tips, and tactics that I use every single day that allow me to become what I consider in my own mind um, a powerhouse for my niche in um, building my business online. Because there are a lot of people out there who just don't know what to do or they're not doing it right. And for those who have reached out to me, and I don't know if I shared this with you, but when I started my personal coaching business January of this year, I got 48 48, yeah, 48 new client calls in four months. So that's why I consider myself a powerhouse in my own mind because if you'd have asked me about this two years ago, I would have known nothing but kiss like zero, not a nilch. But now I am able to share the benefit of my knowledge with you so that way you can not only learn from me, but you can avoid some of the pitfalls that I made along the way. So that way you too can build your brand and your business online. And the strategies, tools, tips, and tactics that I teach work with any business. All right, so if this is your first time watching me, give me a five in the comments. And if you see me before, give me a fist bump or a hello. And as always, if you get value from these videos, please like, comment, and share with those that you know. Okay, so I'm giving Facebook a little bit of time, but not a whole lot because I share my videos on YouTube and LinkedIn. I do not do separate videos. I may get to that point in one day, um, but not today. So um, I need to be respectful of my YouTube and my LinkedIn friends. And if you are following me on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you're following me on Facebook, make sure you follow and click notifications so that way you're notified when I go live. And then on LinkedIn, just send me a connection and then we can be connected there as well well. All right, so let's get started with the 27 ideas for social media posts that you can use now. And of the 27, I'm just going to give you my favorites. Once again, a reminder, if you want the um, amazing handout or not handout report from my um, mentor, Kim Garst, let me know by, well, actually, you don't have to let me know. Just click the link in the comments, and then that way you will be directed on how you too can get the same 27 ideas that I got from her that you can use for your Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram posts. All right, so here's some of my favorites, my top fave. And you should know this because I'm doing it right now. It is live. I tell you, I get more organic reach and more people reach out to me through my Facebook lives than any of the other type of posts that I do. And the reason why that is, is because the Facebook logarithms are set up to put your lives out there more than they um 
put your posts that have links to outside sources. So if you're doing lives and you have a link, like I do in this live that you want somebody to go to, put the link in the comments, not in the body of the post. But lives are where it's at. So that's one of my first favorites. My second favorite is inspirational. And this kind of goes back to what I talked about yesterday when I was talking about the eight steps for success or the eight tips for success. And I was talking about playing ahead. So my motivational mornings, those are the posts that come out sometime between 8 and 10 Eastern Standard Time um, every day. But that's number two, inspirational slash motivational. Those are other types of posts that you can do. And you can always, you can do a search on Google for inspirational quotes or inspirational photos, and you can find something that you can then share to your page. And then because of the way Facebook works, if you have a fan page, you can schedule those posts to come out at your predetermined time. So like I said, mine are scheduled to come out. I call them motivational mornings. They come out every morning between eight and 10 every day. So that's type number two. Type number three are funnies. And funnies are could be something funny that you yourself have. Like I posted yesterday, um, how my dad was joking about me um, losing my dog because I was going to go to jail and I was drinking and driving. I was like, Dad, I'm not drinking and driving. This is my new friend. He's my driver. So we're all good. But it was funny because he was not so much worried about me as he was worried about my dog. He was like, if they lock you up, they're going to take your dog. Your dog's a designer dog. He's so cute. It was just hilarious. But anywho, that's my version of funny. Whatever your version of funny is, that is another type of post you can do, a funny. You can do a joke. I have a girlfriend, Sharon. She might be on here later today. But Sharon always does the jokes that she shares with her kids, and they are so funny. I mean, it's not funny like gut buster funny, but it's funny because, girl, I know your kids are like, oh, mom, really? But she is hilarious. But yeah, funnies is another type of post you can do. Um, I've seen a lot of these online lately. They're word searches where, well, we all know what a word search is, but, um, you know, the word search is there and then it's like type the first words you see. So those are really, really good for engagement, but that's another type of post that you can do. And then there are blogs. And usually when I post about a blog, I talk about the blog in the video, and then I put the link to the blog in um, the comments. One, because I want you to actually read the entire blog since I took the time to create it. And two, because you're not going to get the full value of the blog by listening to me for five, seven, or ten minutes. You actually need to read the entire article so that way you can understand how to implement the strategy that I'm sharing with you for yourself. As I said, the techniques, tools, tips, and strategies that I share are good for any business, but you're not going to get the full value if you don't take the next step, which is to click the link to one, get the 27 Facebook posts that are part of this video. But when I do a blog, click the link to the blog so you can read the entire article to get the full benefit of the knowledge that I put together. Um, let's see. The other posts that I've been seeing are fill in the blank. So it might be like, today is the best day since, or I like uh, my favorite food is, or whatever your fill in the blank may be. Fill in the blanks get a lot of engagement as well. But if you want the engagement, you have to remember, not only do you have to share it um, with groups and people that are already part of your audience. Sorry, remember my allergies and it's that time of year. But um, the only way you'll get the engagement, whether it's a live, well, lives get organic engagement because that's just Facebook. But inspirational funnies, word searches, blogs, fill in the blanks. If you want the engagement, you're either going to have to run a Facebook ad or you're going to have to make sure that you um, have a big enough audience to get that engagement. Or number three, you can share it in groups. But those are three ways that you can increase your engagement. But once again, today I'm just sharing with you um, some of the social media posts that you can do. And then this one, which I do a lot, is share your experience. And, you know, people resonate with those that they know, like, and trust. And the best way to get somebody to know, like, and trust you is to share your experience. That's why whenever I talk with someone or the conversation comes up, sorry, again, I always talk about how I ended up online. As you know, I was with the company for about eight years, or if you are watching me for the first time, you don't. But yeah, I was with the network marketing company for about eight years. In um, late 2015, they were temporarily shut down by the FTC. But in our business as entrepreneurs, a temporary shutdown might as well be a store closure because I lost everything. And that's how I ended up online because I spent eight months doing everything I had done for the last eight years, thinking that's how to build my business back up. And I found out that mm, not so much. Hey, Thomas, it's good to see you here. 
I found out that traditional marketing methods don't work in the internet world that we live in. And so that's why in August 2016, I made the investment and took the plunge to find out how to do this better and to be better. Thank you, Thomas. I so appreciate you. You are so, 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 so inspirational to me. You keep me going. <laughs> I'm glad that you're here. So yeah, I always share your experience. And if I had not made the decision, because I was on two sides of the fence, I was either going to get out of this business all together and say, screw it, it's not working anymore. Or two, I was going to learn a new skill. I took the path of learning a new skill. And if you want to learn a new skill, then you need to give me a seven in the comments and I will message you the same strategy that got me started both in August 2016 and again in September 2017, learning how to master what I consider for myself anyway, master this internet marketing, this online marketing, this digital marketing thing that I do every day. So give me a seven in the comments if you want to learn the same strategy that I use to get started. And don't think it is a huge investment. You can actually get started for $1. You can try it out for 30 days. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, let me know and we'll move on to Something else. That's one thing I learned in this internet business. Things move fast. You know what I'm saying? If one thing doesn't work, try something else, you know? So, um, but a dollar investment will not make or break you, but it will give you a lot of really, really good information. So that's my experience. And if you want to mimic my experience and achieve some of the success and results that I have, like 21,000 Facebook fans, like 1,800 LinkedIn followers, um, like being able to sustain my lifestyle without being um, at a full-time job in corporate America. Give me a seven in the comments. Um, but most importantly, the link in the comments is for 27 ideas for social media posts that you can use now. I've given you some of my favorites. If you want to get the whole download from Kim Garst on what she does and how she uses it and how you too can get ideas for your Facebook posts that resonate with your target market and your ideal client, click the link in the comments so that way you can get the same report that I use and then that way you can have your own post that you're putting out there on a regular basis so you can do the biggest thing of all that we all need to do in online marketing, getting people to know, like, and trust you. All right, that is my video for today. My name is Cecilia Morris. I'm your engineer by education, your home business owner by desire. Once again, if you want the same um, strategies that I learned, give me a seven. If you want the 27 ideas for social media posts, click the link in the comments to download your own report. Appreciate you being here, and I will see you next time.